Hi guys, so this is my first video ever. I've never done one of these before. And I was kind of inspired a couple days ago to just do something similar. I wanted to show a basic look that I would normally do using neutrals and maybe a lip color. But then my battery was dead and I had to charge it. And of course, there goes your motivation a little bit. And today's look that I decided to do is definitely not a neutral or something that I would do on a daily basis, but something just for fun. Um, but I decided that I wanted to do this for my first video. So I hope you guys enjoy. What I decided to do was something that I'd seen similar. I mean, I got the idea kind of from Pinterest a couple days ago. Um, but what it is is a burgundy eye look, burgundy mostly around the outside and in the crease and in the middle right here, um, with a little bit of that iridescent green, pink undertoned uh, insomnia color right on the lid. Um, it's very bold. Uh, I would use it for a night out or something like that, maybe not a day-to-day -day look, but hey, if you want to go for it, go for it. I kind of just do whatever I want to, so. If all goes well with this video, um, I'm hoping to get up a couple more. I don't know how often it will be. Uh, I'm busy school teacher. But um, anyways, I would love to do more videos for you guys, so let me know kind of what kinds of things you would want to see. Um, I do have plans in the works for some kind of a neutral eye using my just basic three shadow, four shadow technique. Um, I want to do a video on uh, basic mascara techniques as well as eyeliner looks maybe. Uh, anyways, I want to be able to uh, share my knowledge and share my passion um, of makeup with other people. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video today. So I should start off by saying that I've been telling everybody the wrong name of this. This is actually Urban Decay's Solstice, um, their Moon Dust Powder. Uh, so this right here is Painterly Paint Pot, and this is what I use to prime my lids. Uh, this is something that I recently purchased that I've heard a lot of good things about, um, but had yet to use until a few days ago. And so far I think I like it. Um, I still feel like if I'm switching between one or two eyelids that sometimes it tends to get a little bit dry if I'm letting it sit for too long, um, but I like it for right now. Uh, so what I used next was um, the um, WTF from Kat Von D's Tattoo Chronicles Candelabra Edition. It was from a few years ago, maybe 2011, 2012, but it's a spectacular palette of about, um, how many different shades does it have? Ah, 16 different shades. Um, I've hit pan on a few of them, but not all, I guess. WTF is one that I don't normally wear too much because it is such a poppin' pink burgundy color that it's a little bit bright for what I would normally wear every day. Um, so right now what I'm doing is applying in my crease, but also bringing it in towards the inside of my lid. And this is something I typically don't do either, unless I'm doing a very specific look. So we're going to fast forward a little bit because you don't need to see me blend, but one of the big secrets to any good solid makeup look is to blend like a maniac. And so I'm using kind of the windshield wiper shade motion to go back and forth. To intensify the shade um, in my crease, what I'm going to go ahead and do is use Makeup Geek's Bitten Eyeshadow. Uh, this is something that Marlena actually came out with maybe a year and a half or two years ago. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Um, I am a huge fan, a huge advocate for any Makeup Geek products. Everything that I've used so far has been spectacular, and I'm just waiting to get back home so that I can order a few more things. Um, but I found that Bitten was a really good shade to kind of just intensify and darken what um, this burgundy shade needs. This next color that I'm going to use is Vanilla Bean, also by Makeup Peak. And this is something that I typically use for a highlighting color. I really like it. It's mostly matte. It has a tiny bit of, tiny bit of sparkle shimmer in it. Um, nothing too big though. Um, but it seems like it's a really spectacular color just to help blend things out a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my flat stiff brush and I've put a little bit of a water and uh, glycerin, I guess, mix um, on my brush. And now I'm patting in a color from Too Faced Natural Eye. Uh, it is Honey Pot, so it's like a golden tone. Next, I'm going to be going in with Unbridled, I believe it is. I'm going to be using Unbridled to um, work in the outside corner of my lid and also bring it in a little bit inside my crease to kind of build um, kind of a darker tone because I want to add some dimension and some depth to this look. Uh, it has the tendency or the ability to be two-dimensional, um, but having this brighter color on the lid but also having this darker color on the outside will hopefully help it to pop a bit more.
Uh, next I'm going to still use that same color unbridled, um, just to put a little bit more uh, shade on my brush right here. I'm using kind of a small pencil brush from Sephora, and what I'm using it for is to just go underneath and kind of smoke out the bottom lash line with the same color. Uh, I'm going to come in and use a little bit more of the WTF on the top right now and just kind of pat it over what I've already got just to, I don't know, add a little bit more pink, I guess. I'm going to fast forward this because it doesn't need to go slow. There's a lot of padding and a lot of blending. You don't have to see it all. Anyways, lots of work. I cut out a lot of the face pulling, but I kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm on stage right now. Um, so I'm going to go in with the solstice tone, and again, I've got that water and glycerin mixed. I figured out that I needed a little bit more um, moisture and wetness on my brush, and I really had to pack on the color so that you could see the tone. Um, and I kind of just put this over the top of the gold, and one of the gold underneath to add a little bit more glitter and glitz. Uh, I think it worked okay. Um, and then I'm just using a little bit more of solstice in that little tiny corner of my eye. I love this and looks. Um, and just a little bit under the lash line just to add some glitter and glitz underneath. Uh, next up are Silk Teddy and Honey Pot again, and I kind of used both of these in the inside corner of my eye to add a little bit more glitter because, hey, I don't have enough already, I guess. Anyways, I love doing this. I just wanted to put it there. Just put some, put some sparkle. I like sparkle. Um, and again, my favorite eyeliner ever. Uh, I'm using Orphan Decay's 24-7 Liner in Perversion. It is the reason I went to Sephora the other day and the main reason why I bought Solstice. Um, why did I need it? I don't know, but I know it's beautiful and I've seen a lot of great things about it. And I think overall I really like this look. I'll try it again for sure. Um, what I tend to do with my eyeliner is kind of put my my sharpened pencil sideways along my lash line and I kind of just make sure that everything is a little bit straight on the top um, and again in the bottom uh, outside third of my lower lash line I add a little bit of black because I want some more color. What I tend to do and this is what I'm going to do right now um, is use some kind of a black tone over the top of my black liner because I like smoothing it out and also smoking it out a tiny bit um, and setting it with some kind of a dark uh, eyeshadow. It tends to work pretty well. So that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry for being really close to the camera. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm learning. Uh, and then again, I do this a lot with my lower lash line because I really don't want some stark black line. I don't think that's attractive. Um, so I just kind of smoked it out towards the middle, never going further than the middle, at least for this look. Next, I'm going to go in with NYX's Jumbo Eye, Jumbo Eye Pencil, excuse me, and I'm going to use this just in the lower, you know, lash line, tear duct kind of area um, to kind of open up the eye a little bit. It's a little bit um, closing because I've got a lot of dark colors around my lash line. And at this point, I figure out it's a little bit freaky looking, but I think it will work. And sorry, I uh, love to listen to music, and I'm going to sing while I put on my makeup because that's the way it is. Uh, and then in this outside corner, I wanted to use a little bit from that uh, Lorac unzipped palette that I showed a little bit earlier with Brun Unbridled, but it wasn't quite dark enough. So I ended up putting a tiny bit of black on this pencil brush and went through um, that outer V of my eye and kind of just intensified that a little bit, um, again, to add some more dimension. Face pulling, hey. Throughout this whole thing, I was a little bit concerned that it wasn't focused, uh, and I was praying that everything was going to work, because my camera I can't see. Anyways, uh, now I'm just curling my lashes, and I tend to just do two different steps. I do one that's, one um, press that's close to my lash line, not too much on the pressure, and then one that's towards the end, just double curl a little bit, and it works okay, I guess. Uh, next, I'm going to go in with my Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara by L'Oreal. This is my go-to mascara. My love, love. I think it's about $9 US, um, and I think I just get it like Walmart, Target, nah, drugstores. You can get it for a deal every once in a while, like Rite Aid or something, but um, since I live in Thailand, I tend to go home at, during the summertime, buy five or six of these, and use them throughout the rest of the year. And again, fast-forwarding 
the mask airing because you don't need to see. Not, and that's me figuring out that I gotta clean up underneath. It's a little messy. And finishing up with my mascara. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it today. It was pretty fun to do. Um, I definitely want to try something like this again. Uh, and before I go, I wanted to tell you about my cheek products I used. I used Los Cabos um, Sephora Bronzer um, for my contouring. And then I also used Spellbound by Makeup Geek just for my blush. Because it's more of a neutral tone. Um, and I really, again, Makeup Geek, bloody hell, I love you guys. And as my fellow nerdfighters say, don't forget to be awesome. Thanks, guys.